Hello everyone! So, I don't know what I got myself into, but today I'm gonna try out a 3D pen for the first time in my life. And this is made by Decale, and it was sent to me by the company, but I'm not paid or anything. All I say will be my own and honest opinion, as usual. So, one of the reasons I chose to review this product is because... I mean, just look at it, the pen is shaped as a freaking cat, it is like it was made for me. So inside we have some instructions, which I will definitely need, some pink PLA filaments, USB cord and two different power plugs, and a little cup. And it actually took me a moment to realize that this is a stand for the pen, and it has little cat paws and a cat tail, and it is adorable, yet a bit creepy. Then we have more filaments and some pattern templates. They comes with this plastic sheet that you can place over the template so that you can trace it without the filament sticking to the paper, which is pretty neat. Some of these patterns seems a little too complicated for me at the moment, but I'm sure I can make a flower or something, we'll see. Mikhail also sent me this bag of 20 feet of PLA filaments in different colors, so I hope I can make something pretty with this. Also, I will leave links in the description box below to where you can get this pen and the filaments, so be sure to check that out if you think it looks interesting. And I wanted to get some practice and a little feeling for this new kind of sorcery, so I took a basic flower pattern and tried to trace it. And yeah, this was a lot harder than I expected, no straight line as far as the eye can see. It looks so easy seeing other people using 3D pens, and I guess there is a lot of practice behind it. The filament cools down pretty quickly though, and it is surprisingly strong, it took a bit of force to bend the thicker parts. So enough practicing, let's try to create something beautiful, or something decent at least. Let's try to create something. And there are three different speeds, low, medium and high, and I tried them all and I found that medium was the best speed for me. And my first instinct or thought was just to make something easy and flat on the plastic sheet and then just glue them together. But since this is a 3D pen, I feel I need to challenge myself a little to do something 3D-ish. So I made my very own little template that I could trace and then put the pieces together. And I'm sorry if I'm moving everything all over the place here, videos like this are so hard to film, but I hope you can see a little bit of what I'm doing. I first started to build up a skeleton, and I realized pretty quickly that this blue that I'm using wouldn't last for the whole character, so I thought I'd use this mid-tone blue to build up the body, and then use the lighter blue to cover it and add some more meat to the bone, so to speak. And if you haven't noticed it already, the character I'm drawing, sculpting, is Vaporeon, the Pokémon. I thought he'd be a decent challenge for my first 3D project. For the body I'm making like a cage that I'm gluing together with the filaments and for the head I made a couple of circles that I put into a ball shape. And as I mentioned the filaments cools down pretty quickly but the gravity still has a little time to pull it so when I cover the head shape the filament strings curves inwards towards the middle of the ball so I used my fingers to curve them outwards instead to make it more roundish. So while I'm trying to make something out of this, let's talk about my pros and cons about this product. So let's start with the cons first. The pen itself was actually quite comfortable to hold, but having the USB cord connected all the time and having the filament strings poking out of the pen made it a bit top heavy, which made it more uh, unstable to work with. I also wish that the power cord was a lot longer, now I had to use an extension cord which was a bit inconvenient. 
Con number two, filament waste. Every time you turn off the pen or stop writing with it, a bunch of filaments just keeps pouring out of the pen nib. And my guess is that maybe it is so that the pen won't clog, or maybe it is just natural that the plastic keep moving when it's hot, I don't know. But there is quite a lot of filament that is wasted because of this. And the filament created these tiny fine strings almost as hair that stuck everywhere on everything and it got a little annoying after a while. Number three, which is just a minor one, the plastic sheet that came with the pen didn't last very long at all. It started to warp from the heat of the filaments and it was pretty much useless after a while. But it is such a simple and cheap thing and you can just replace it with something similar that you have at home. And the last con, the sound or noise. I had no idea that 3D pens was so loud and noisy. It makes sense though, since there is some sort of mechanism or engine pulling the filaments through the pen, but it was so unexpected. I got used to it after a while and I put on some music, so it didn't bother me that much, but it isn't the kind of thing that you bring out when you can't sleep in the middle of the night when everyone else is sleeping. So that are my cons, now let's highlight the good things, because there are a few good things too. Numero uno, the pen didn't clog at all. I've seen a few 3D pen reviews and it seems like the pen clogging up from the filaments is one of the bigger problems, but I didn't have any trouble with that at all. The only thing that happened once was that the filament got a little tangled on top of the pen, but it was very easy to solve. Pro number two, it didn't smell bad, it did smell a little though, but it wasn't unbearable or anything. This pen is obviously aimed towards kids, and to me, so it is good that there are no toxic fumes. And I did only burn myself just a little one time during the hours I spent on this, and it was kind of my own fault for poking the hot filaments. And I bet that kids are smarter than I am, but I didn't burn myself on the pen, so that adds to the kid friendliness, I guess. Pro number three, and this is the most important one in my opinion, I had a blast. I actually didn't expect it, but this pen was so much fun to work with, and no, I'm not paid to say that. Sure, it was a little frustrating sometimes, but once you got a hang of it, it was a very relaxing and meditative experience. I first thought I was just gonna give this away to my cousins when I was done with this review, but now afterwards I kinda want to keep it to myself. So let me know if you would like to see more 3D pen projects like this. I have quite a lot of filaments left to use so. So even if there are a few more cons than pros in this case, I definitely think that the pros outweighs the cons this time, because if it is fun and easy to use, it is easier to tolerate the less good things, and to be honest, the negative things weren't that bad anyway. So I guess I can mention this Vaporeon sculpture that I'm working on and what I'm doing here. I think the most challenging part with making this piece was connecting different parts to each other, like the air fins for example, which I'm very proud of by the way. It would be so much easier to have free hands to do this, but I think it worked out pretty well anyway. I used the filament as hot glue to put the different pieces together, and you have to work really, really quickly before the plastic cools down. But the more I worked on this project, the better feeling I got for it, and I figured out how to do different things. Practice makes perfect, I guess. Well, not perfect, but decent.
and also attaching the head to the body was a huge challenge. Now afterwards, I kind of wish I made a hole in the middle of the neck piece thing, you know, the spiderweb looking part, so that the neck piece and the head would be more connected to each other. Now the head is more sitting on top of it, and I had to add a neck to Vaporeon, which looks a little odd. But it is just a minor thing, I am actually super proud of myself and that I made something that is fairly recognizable and that it can actually stand by itself without tipping over. Sculpting was never my best subject in art class, so I am super happy with how this turned out. So there you have it, a derpy looking but cute Vaporeon. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you think this 3D pen might be something for you, check out the links below. Thanks to Kale for sending me this to play with and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats, bye!